dear students today we are going to discuss about how to use cisco packet tracer in my previous video we discussed about how to download cisco packet tracer from netcan academy and the next video we covered the introduction to cisco packet tracer today we are going to discuss about how to use cisco packet tracer application right so after successful installation you will get the home screen like this here there are lot of option is available today we are going to discuss about the important menus which is available in cisco packet tracer so first i start with bottom left corner we have network devices end devices components connections miscellaneous and the last one multi user connection here each options we have different kind of menus is available like for example in network devices that first one is the router second one is the switches third one is hub fourth one is the wireless devices fifth one is the security and last one is the wan emulation for example if you want to choose for example any one of the router there are different router is available here 4331 4321 192 41290 like based on our network connection you can choose any one of the router from the list so for example coming to the switches we have 2960 pt switch pt mt and it's coming to the hub pt hub pt repeater coaxial splitter and what kind of connections we are creating based on the connection type you can choose that router switches or hub the different options which is available in the list right so next coming to the end devices here end devices by default we have lot of end devices is available in the list for example pc laptop server media server and uh, here i phone printer phone tv tablet smartphone here that the same end devices home network is available smart city industrial purpose we can use and the last one is the power grid and next to most important thing is the connection when you do any kind of networks connections definitely we have to link with the devices right for that we have to choose any one of the cable for example the first one is automatically choose the connection type second one is the console third one is the copper straight through next one is the copper crossover fiber phone coaxial serial dce serial dte octal iot custom cable and the last one is the usb and it's coming to the top left side we have two option is available the first one by default it logical view is enabled in case if you want to work on physical mode you can click the physical mode button and it will be get the real time experience how that physical network it will be work right and next to one what kind of option is available in that other application the same menus which is available in cisco packet tracer also right file edit options view tools extensions window and the last one is the help and the same kind of icons which is available in the next menu bar and coming to the next most important thing 
if you try to send any message from source to destination definitely be how to use the message here the first one is the add simple pdu that's protocol data unit or if your connection is complex one you can choose complex pdu to send that message from source to destination and coming to the bottom right side here it shows the fire lost status source destination what kind of the the connections we are created in the screen when you try to simulate the connections immediately it will be shows the source destination what kind of uh, network type we are using the color time it's taken and we can edit delete all the things it will be appear in this bottom right side right next it's coming to the uh, the next most important thing here there are two option is available to execute our network connections that first one is the real time and second one is the simulation mode here that simulation window it will be have three buttons that first one is the previous event and the, the center button is play and the next one is the next event when we create any kind of network connections in this window when you click the play button immediately it shows it shows that what's the time it taken and where that message is transfer and the next event when will it happen all the information which is present in the simulation window right so in my next video we will start with simple lan connection and one by one we learn how to create network connections using cisco packet tracer and you will get the real time experience when we start with the the network connections this video just to be discussed what are the important things which is available in the cisco packet tracer right i hope this video is clear to all if you have any queries you can post it in the chat window thanks for watching